Hey guys, today we're going to learn the science behind this stuff, kava. Now, kava is a drink that has its origins in the Pacific Islands and is made by grinding up the dried roots of the kava plant and mixing it with water, making a drink that both looks like mud water and, uh, well, frankly, tastes like mud water too. And uh, kava's roots are as a ceremonial drink in the Pacific Islands, used to greet guests, celebrate birthdays, or just a drink during social gatherings. It's been around for over 2,000 years over there, but recently kava has caught on quite a bit in the United States as both a medicinal remedy, but also as a social drink. The kava plant's roots contain several different compounds known as kava lactones, all with slightly different effects. But kava and these kava lactones have been known to help with anxiety, depression, pain, insomnia, and also give a sense of euphoria. There are six main kava lactones, with the first increasing dopamine, giving that sense of euphoria. The second increases levels of gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA, and this helps to regulate emotions and reduce anxiety. The third and fourth kava lactones calm the central nervous system, which helps ease pain and with sleep, and finally, the fifth and sixth ones increase serotonin, which regulates mood, appetite, and sleep, and a deficiency in serotonin can cause anxiety and depression. Now, different strains of kava contain different levels of these various kava lactones, meaning they can all have slightly different effects. Now, I know all this can sound a bit like Eastern medicine and a little hippie and sort of out there, but this stuff has a pretty considerable amount of scientific research on it. In fact, kava has been known to help people get off benzodiazepines like Xanax and Valium, and unlike these drugs, kava can actually boost cognitive function. In other studies, kava has been shown to be as effective as certain anti-anxiety and anti-depression drugs. And a lot of people also drink kava as a healthier alternative to alcohol or other drugs, as a lot of kava bars, as they're called, can have a very similar social atmosphere to a traditional bar. Now, one really interesting thing about kava is that it has a reverse tolerance, which is very different to almost every other drug, all the way from caffeine to heroin, in that instead of building up a tolerance to the substance and needing more to get the same effect over time, kava is the opposite, whereas the more you consume, the less you need to feel its effects. This is because your body will build up those kava lactones over time, and once they're already in your system, you won't need as much to feel its effects. Uh, and for that same reason, a lot of first-time kava drinkers may not feel anything at all. Now, I also want to put it out there that I'm not endorsing the consumption of kava, as its long-term health effects are not, you know, completely known. Um, but, you know, maybe something you want to try out one of these days. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, please leave a like or subscribe. Thanks.